cold summer. So if you need a bit of a break from making big family feasts, John Watts is here with the food inspo you need. And uh, these ideas actually only take minutes to make, don't they, John? Minutes, yeah. So we're so speedy. We're going to make two recipes today. Oh, great. Ah, you're not. Too. We are. No way. No. <laughs> you're treating us, spoiling us, John. Impossible. Uh, this is your book. We just. Yeah. Th this is all about delicious recipes in 30 minutes or less. Yeah. Yeah, Making so. dinner time's exciting, that's what I'm all about. Ingredients you can get from the supermarket, you have them in the cupboard, often they're in one pan, you chuck it all in, you have something delicious for the whole family, or for yourself, whoever you're cooking for. I so. like recipes where you can just chuck it all in. That's yeah. my kind of cooking. Yeah, same, same for me. I mean, for me, you know, you spend a whole day working, you're out somewhere, you get home, you just want to throw it all in one pan, you want less washing up, and that's exactly what this one is. So what's talk? in it? Yeah, it, smell. it smells like chorizo, is it? Chorizo. Ch ch there's so many pronunciations. Coming on TV chorizo. and saying this word, I'm having so much anxiety. Give it a go. Is it chorizo? I mean, I say chorizo. Ah, ta, ta, ta. Go, ta, ta. How do you say it? Oh, chorizo. Yeah, 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 chorizo. Thanks for a bit of Nottingham twang on it. It's just chorizo. <laughs> Chur hey, chorizo. sausage. It's sausage. Yeah, a bit of sausage, go on. And the great thing about chorizo is it's got all that flavour already in there, you know? So you just sort of render that off, get it nice and crispy. I've just been doing that as you were talking. And then I've just got these ingredients that are going to go in. So we're going to start with some red pepper and some red onion. All these things are, are good for you. You know, even red onion, it goes towards your five a day, you know. So it's just about getting those good things in there. The smell is unbelievable, it's... filling the air outside TV <laughs> centre here. There's people from miles away just, just And now I feel sorry us. for the queue of people waiting for loose women and they're getting the waft <laughs> of this smell going over. We'll give you some in a bit, guys, don't worry. No, we won't. <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say what a dream it is to be cooking outside. Like, as a chef, where you're holed up in a kitchen all the time, you know, it's nice to be cooking outside. Well, yeah, because there's no windows, is there, normally, in a kitchen? You <laughs> no. don't know what day or time no, it is. No, exactly. John, look how those vegetables are loving that chorizo. Yeah. They're all changing colour, aren't they? The That's it. Wonderful. F a few ingredients, and it just starts bringing out all that flavour. That bit of garlic just went that in. That was a lot of garlic. <laughs> I'm a garlic fiend. Mm, me too, <laughs> love it. So what we're doing then, so we've, we're mixing all this together. Yeah, so we're just going to cook that off. We're releasing all that flavour, and then we can go, go in with the sort of sauce ingredients. So we've got some cream cheese, which a lot of people have in their, in their fridge already. Just... We've got some tomato paste. Do you know when you cook and magic stuff happens? This is the magic bit, John, isn't it? When it all comes <laughs> oh. <stores> together. <laughs> and then some chicken stock, and then all you need to do is just give that a little stir. And this is how simple it is. This is what I'm all about. Give it a stir. Get the gnocchi in there. Was so that not... another one you panicked about saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been gnocchi. practicing it for the last two days. <laughs> so you haven't pre-cooked that? That's straight no. out of the packet so in, this in is there, is it? shop-bought gnocchi. Um, you can make it yourself. It's a bit of a faff. It's a bit similar to pasta, you know. It's, there's nothing wrong with just going to the supermarket, buying your own gnocchi. Um, yeah, because I never really know how to do gnocchi because I, I didn't know if you had to fry it first then or boil it first or... So many different ways. You can boil it first, add it into the sauce. So if you were going to do that, you'd make uh, a less liquidy sauce yeah. and then you'd sort of add it in like you would pasta. You can fry it off, get a nice crisp on it. You can put it in the sauce and bake it. In fact, this would be delicious baked right now. Mm. Um, but this way, we're going for ease, lid on the top, and we're just going to leave Fish. that for a few minutes. And what... Oh! Oh! Nearly. All right. <laughs> Nearly. Steady. <laughs> and what will come out is this. Oh, John, Just going to look at the chicken the colours. Just to loosen that up. And it, it's just something different, you know, something exciting to liven up your dinner time that You're the whole that family smell? will love. I'm loving it. That's, this is the kind of thing <laughs> that I would grate a load of cheese over the top and yeah. be absolutely all over. <laughs> and you just put in more stock just to loosen it up there, John. Yeah. Is that what's going on? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, just, it's the type of thing that you want it to be hot. Um, otherwise, it is going to go slightly stodgy. So I'm just going to loosen that up. And if you wouldn't mind passing me over the bowls, I can yeah. start dishing this up. Sure. I cannot wait to eat this. Thank you. I really Be can't. Beautiful bowls. I really can't. The, the loose women queue wouldn't like... You wouldn't like this, ladies. They wouldn't like it, will they? Oh, no, I don't know. No, they I'll won't send like you it. out like a delivery yeah. and see, if, uh, <laughs> see what they think. <laughs> oh, this looks oh, great, John. Oh, John. Nice bowls too, John, as well, can I just say. Nice, nice bowls. bowls. Nice bowls. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Might be stealing posh. those, Sean. Should we I take think... them home with us? Oh, no. Props department will kill you for that. <laughs> this is sort of everything people crave, you know? Cheesy, creamy, tomatoey goodness. Now, I'm thinking if you've been out last night, this is perfect. <laughs> so, look, should we tuck into this while you do... Uh, yeah. yeah, go for it. So... Desserts. Have you, I think you've got some parmesan there, if you'd like to... Oh, we can coat it in cheese. Parmesan. 
Oh, you go. yeah. I, I mean, I would coat it in loads of cheese, but I don't know. You know, I didn't know the vibe. Go on. Are you ready? Yes, so, yes. seeing as it's Friday, seeing as we're outdoors, we're going to do more? the s'mores tray bake. So, s'mores is like, is that like the American The American thing, thing where well, you'll get digestive biscuit, marshmallows and chocolate, you sandwich it, put it over the barbecue, you know, melts all this gooey goodness. This mm. is just a no-faff version where we're just going to get a lightly greased tray. Watsy, this is biscuits. really good. Yeah. This is Thank delicious. Thank you. Yeah. Did you call me Watsy? I did, yeah. You're right heard, with that. I've not been called Watsy in so long. <laughs> no, you don't, you don't, do you like it? No, I love it. I love good. it. <laughs> well, it's all about nostalgia today, so there you go. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And then we just mm. cover this with some marshmallows. You can do as many layers as you want with this. I might have to go straight to bed after this. <laughs> <laughs> and this could go straight into the oven. Yep. Could also be done in the air fryer, actually. People who oh, love no, an really? air fryer. Yeah, straight, straight in there for a sort of... Do you of like an air fryer, John? I, I don't really use one. I don't think they're for chefs. They're for home, you know, people mm. at home who just want cheaper cooking and sort of speedier cooking. Ease, yeah. Oh, and then my the money, Wow, look at this. The money shot. Drizzle Watson, you are naughty. Look what, at that. <laughs> what is being naughty? So, John, this is... I mean, are these all in your book? Yeah, so these two recipes are in my book. It's called Speedy Weeknight Meals. Yeah. And it is, like I said, just simple recipes using ingredients anyone can get. Uh, is it mad to think that you're on your second book now? Like, how far you've come? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this book is possible because I came on this show a year ago. Oh, so thank you for cool. having me back. Um, oh, and if you want to try this, we've yeah. got you some there, which hopefully they're still gooey. Oh, my, is that should... not, it's not one serving of it, is it? That's... Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm not sharing this. Are you good, you think that? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, my word. I've had Angel Delight for breakfast. Now I'm eating this for lunch. I mean, <laughs> what, what flavour of Angel Delight did you have? Strawberry. Strawberry. Oh, what was your fave? It's all about butternut. Butter, uh, butter scotch. Butter butter scotch. Scotch. Everyone yeah. keeps going on about this butterscotch oh, flavour. I never had it as a kid. John, I'm delighted for you mm. because we've oh, spoken still... to you in the past about, <laughs> about your, you know, your past and how you got yeah. into this business. And uh, it's been incredibly successful for you, hasn't it? I mean, it's just changed your life cooking, it's hasn't it? Yeah, completely changed my life. Oh, um, wow. You know, learning to cook in prison as a teenager and then finding that passion and then just having the most incredible career. And then 15 years later, to have a cookbook out, to be sharing my passion with millions of people is the most incredible thing. And when you were in prison on your mood board of the things yeah. you wanted to do when you got out was a little picture yeah. of this morning. Yeah, that's right. And you placed I, Phil Vickery's yeah. head with your head. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, Gino De Campo, I photoshopped right. myself over him. And I did that so many years ago. And then when I first cooked on here in 2021 and I brought it on and I showed everybody, it was quite a moment, well, very con surreal. Congratulations to thank you. Thank you so Good much. Wonderful you, stuff. Uh, for details of today's recipes, check out our free this morning. Ah,